Today I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader of the Pixel and Pixel XL. Now this tutorial will be walking you through the actual unlocked Pixel that you buy from the Google Store. There has been a tool that has been released that will unlock both the Verizon and EE Pixel and Pixel XL. I'll be doing a tutorial about that on my website, but I won't be able to, be, to do a video guide on that because I don't have the Verizon or EE Pixel. Since I bought my Pixel from the Google Store, this is the this will be the process that you'll need to to go through in order to unlock the bootloader for this device. I'm going to be talking about various tools that you'll need to download and install on your computer. If you don't have those or are unable to find those, then be sure to check the description below this video and I'll have a link to the full tutorial on my website that will have links to everything that you need to do. So to start you're going to need to download and install some sort of ADB and Fastboot tools. I recommend minimal ADB and Fastboot from XDA. Again the link for that will be on my website. Once you have that installed you should also go ahead and install the Google USB drivers for Android. And it's probably a good idea to just go ahead and reboot your computer after you install those USB drivers. From there we're going to need to enable developer mode by launching the settings, tapping on the about phone section, and then tapping on the build number option about seven to ten times until you're told that you are now a developer. So we're going to go back and now we have developer options. And then in here we're going to enable OEM unlocking. We're going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to enable USB debugging. If you have installed minimal ADB and fastboot tools, you should just go ahead and double click on the shortcut that it created on your desktop. This will launch a command prompt and take you exactly to the directory that ADB and Fastboot are installed to. If you chose a different method, just go ahead and open up command prompt and then go to where your ADB and Fastboot tools are. From here we need to type ADB devices and press enter on the keyboard. If done right, this will say that the daemon has been started successfully. Once you have started the ADB service, you'll need to connect the Pixel or Pixel XL to the PC with a USB cable. You'll get this allow USB debugging option to pop up. I'm just going to tap on always allow from this computer and then tap on OK. And once we have allowed that, we're just going to go ahead and, and disconnect that cable. After you have disconnected the USB cable, we're going to boot into fastboot mode by long pressing on the power button, tapping restart, and holding down the volume down button while it goes through the restart process. Once you get to the fastboot menu, let go of the volume down button and then go ahead and connect that USB cable back to your device. After you've connected the USB cable back to the Pixel or Pixel XL, we're going to turn our attention back to the command prompt. And we're going to type in the command fastboot space flashing space unlock. And after you have typed the fastboot space flashing space unlock command, go ahead and press enter on the keyboard. As soon as you press enter on the keyboard, you're going to get this unlock bootloader screen. This gives you a warning and tells us that 
to prevent unauthorized access to your personal data. Unlocking the bootloader will also delete all of the personal data from your phone. So we're going to press the volume up or volume down buttons to highlight one of these options. And since yes, we do want to unlock, we're going to once the yes option is highlighted, we're going to press the power button to select this option. After a few seconds of being on that bootloader unlock screen, we're going to see the Pixel or Pixel XL reboot. And then at the very bottom, you're going to see it says device is unlocked. So since the start option is automatically highlighted here, we're just going to press on the power button to start. And that's going to boot us up into the regular Android operating system. We see this little warning here about how it cannot be checked for corruption. That is normal. You're going to see the Google logo here, and then at the bottom before the animation, you're going to see a padlock that has been unlocked to again remind you that the bootloader has been unlocked. And since our device has been factory reset, this first boot's going to take a little time because Android has to set some stuff up and then we'll be taken right back to the typical Android activation screen. And there you go, that is how to unlock the bootloader on both the Pixel and Pixel XL that has been purchased from the Play Store, from the Google Store.